Good morning, Knicks, Knicks fans. fans. What's, What's up? What's up, everybody? I'm Danny B. Danny B. It's the morning drive. It's the morning drive. We're talking Knicks. What's up, everybody? Happy hump day. Hope you're having a great week. If you've been rocking with these morning drives, make sure to hit that like button. Hit that retweet, if you will. And be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. I want to know what you guys are thinking about these Knicks. You know, we took a ride down to Motor City last night to play the Pistons. And on his birthday, Mr. Julius Randle had 17 points and five threes in the first quarter alone. Everybody's shot was dropping. It was the complete opposite from the Memphis game the other night. We had 40 first quarter points, but we're only up eight. And the reason is our defense, because we're just not keeping up on the switches. We're not keeping our head up. We're not moving our feet continuously. And we're leaving guys lost, looking stranded out there. That's horrible, you know, and it's been a problem all season. You know, so it's back and forth in this second quarter till about five minutes or so are left. And our shot starts falling again. We get hot again. Brun uh, Randall gets a couple more buckets to go. Brunson hits one from way downtown off the glass. And we're up 14 points at halftime. 70 to 56. 70 first half points. Just shot falling, like I said. And we come out in the third, and Randall continues to dominate. He's getting his buckets. We see Grimes working it both sides of the ball, with and without the ball, as he does so well. RJ getting more aggressive. He's driving it in there but he's also looking to kick it which is going to be huge he found Brunson in the corner for a three and to me that's going to be where RJ is going to have some more success continue to kick it out there it's going to take pressure off yourself as the defense is starting to look for you to pass it more they're going to take the pressure off of you you're going to be able to finish more at the rim you know that's just how I see it um what else did we see IQ got hot at the end of the third quarter there his shot starts falling and we're up 31 points as we go into the fourth quarter and we were able to sail all the way through 140 to 110 was the final score we were able to sit our starters through that fourth quarter which is huge because we got the bucks tonight on the second night of a back-to-back -back. randall 36 points can every game be his birthday i mean damn he was just on point last night i even liked his defensive effort it was there you know grimes played great both sides of the ball as i said he was a plus 37 plus 37 uh, everybody shared, you know, uh, like I said, Randall had 36, but Grimes had 16, RJ had 16, um, Brunson had 16, IQ had 15, so the scoring was shared, I love to see that there, um, what else do we got? IQ not hurt. He's back in the lineup. I'm so happy to see that. Grimes looking like he's almost at 100%. Cam looking like he was a little bit more aggressive last night as well. Hopefully he gets closer to 100% as he's working back from that groin injury. And like I said, we got the Bucks tonight, so we got to bring it. Defense is my key to the game. I only got one key. Defense, defense, defense. And if you haven't seen my new show, TK Weekly, yet, what are you waiting for? A great new show that I've been doing with Kyle, um, Kyle Maggio, Sean Geddes from the Knicks Wall. We break the Knicks down from the last week into a 20-minute segment, four quarters. We swish or dish on a topic this week. It was our RJ and Randall redundant. Uh, we ranked the Knicks young core in the second quarter. Third quarter, we talked Christmas, you know, what kind of jerseys you getting. And then fourth quarter, we played a game. We had a guest, the Knicks, that had a career average of over 4.5 assists. Spoiler alert, it's not Charlie Ward. I did not win this game, but they're always a ton of fun. Those are always pinned to the Knicks Wall Twitter profile, so go over there and check them out. And that's where I'm at. Like I said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.